Hey ladies and gentlemen of the social media world, my name is Eric Harris, I'm the head trainer and decoy for Protection Dog Sales today. I want to give you guys an inside look at some of the training props that we use on a day-to-day -day basis, getting these dogs ready to go into homes and be vigilant protectors of their home. First off is the whip, most commonly used for sensory uh, desensitizing. The whip, very aggressive noise here, it's the tip uh, ripping the sound barrier. So you hear us using this most regularly because dogs have very sensitive hearing. So if they're thinking under pressure when we're using this, we know we've got the right dog. Streamers, very common us to, for us to use these streamers, okay? They make a pretty aggressive snap themselves, although not as aggressive as the whip, they're pretty snazzy. So we can use these for different distractions, maybe even a little prey luring. So say I'm out here and I'm doing a little bit of bite work and I throw this thing by, where does the dog go? Does he chase that or does he stay with me? Air horns, we use this for many different things, but in bite work, it's good to blow and see if the dog has any sort of nervous issues approaching the decoy uh, in an aggressive manner still after he's heard the air horn. Something pretty regularly that we use, although you may not see it on our videos, start a pistol. Use the 209 primer, completely blank, safe to the dog, safe to people around, but very loud. This, same thing as a whip. This gives a nice, audible, loud, distracting, discombobulating kind of noise, but also this gives a nose sensory desensitizing opportunity because the powder is exploding, molecules are bursting everywhere, and it could be quite assaulting on the dog's senses. So, the starter pistol, quite regularly used. Shaker jug, my favorite for the puppies because when I'm working with puppies, I can have them around it, I can lay it down, pull the puppies over it, or if I've got a nice big adult dog, I could shake it over them. So, very loud, very durable, shaker jug, big plus. And then, spook cat props. We like to throw these on as a curveball every once in a while for the dogs. One, we do like Halloween here, protection dog sales. But two, it's good to break up the contour of your, your face on a day-to-day, -day, or on a semi-regular basis, just for the dogs to have a different look at something every once in a while, especially when you're doing building search work or dark room scenarios. So on the other side of my uh, screen here, we've got a dog that we're fixing to do some of this work with. of equipment I'd like to mention is the hidden arm sleeve that I am wearing under this jacket. This is just a regular old Faded Glory 3X jacket with a hidden arm sleeve velcroed to my forearm, providing very minimal protection, I might add, to the young jailer's grip. Yes, good boy. Yes. Hey, get off it off! All right guys, so that was a good look at a nice young dog, a good demonstration from Eric, talking about all the equipment that we use here at Protection Dog Sales. There's a lot of development going on here behind the scenes you don't get to see on a day-to-day -day basis. I get hundreds and hundreds of comments about underarm sleeves and muzzle work and gunfire. We get all those comments, trust us, we do all that work, we're not here, you know, twiddling our thumbs. So there's a lot of work going on behind the scenes to develop a dog like this. Jailer Von Frieden is only 13 months old. That's a lot of work for a young dog. We've got a great team, great staff, great facilities, great equipment. 
and 30 years of knowledge about how to build personal protection dogs for your family. So I hope you enjoyed that and learned a little bit along the way.